Hey everyone, just a quick note. Before we dive in, I might be rocking the bald look right now. But I promise you one thing, I'm not here to give you any hair tips. Today we're focusing on a powerful vitamin that could help many, many of you worldwide. So let's get into the good stuff and discover how this vitamin can be your hair's best friend. Now you might be surprised to learn that vitamin D deficiency is one of the significant factors that contribute to hair loss. That's correct. And let's unravel the science behind it, explore the physiology, and discuss the best practices for maintaining optimal levels of this important vitamin so you can then see tremendous changes in progress. When we look at the physiology of vitamin D, it's often referred to as a sunshine vitamin. It's fat-soluble, and it's synthesized in our skin when our skin is exposed to sunlight. It plays a crucial role in calcium homeostasis, as well as bone health. But it influences more than what we could imagine. Research indicates that vitamin D also is essential for hair follicle cycling. It aids in the creation of new hair follicles, and it maintains the health of existing ones. You see, when the body lacks sufficient vitamin D, Hair follicles may enter the telogen phase prematurely, leading to hair shedding. This condition is known as telogen effluvium, which can result in noticeable thinning of our hair or even bald patches. Therefore, vitamin D deficiency can directly impact hair density as well as our overall hair health. Now, there are consequences with vitamin D deficiency. Many people, I would say millions of people, don't even know they are deficient particularly individuals who have limited sun exposure or those with poor dietary intake. Symptoms can range from fatigue, tiredness, bone pain, muscle weakness, as well as hair loss. The physiological effects of lower vitamin D levels include suppressed immune function, increased inflammation, and impaired cellular repair processes, all of which can further exacerbate hair loss. Vitamin D receptors are present in all of our hair follicles, and it promotes our hair growth. And studies show that vitamin D stimulates hair growth by triggering these hair follicles growth phase. And in contrast, its deficiency can lead to miniaturization of hair follicles, resulting in thinner, weaker hair. And moreover, vitamin D plays a role in keratinocyte differentiation, the cells responsible for forming the outer layer of skin, including the scalp which also impacts hair quality. But when it comes to our dietary source of vitamin D, it's so important that we get it from our diet or from supplementation or from sunlight. Foods with vitamin D are our fatty fishes like our salmons and mackerel, our fortified dairy products, our mushrooms, egg yolks, as well as others. And if you're not relying solely on diet, this may not be enough for everyone, particularly for those living in areas with limited sunlight, especially during those winter months. And for those who struggle to maintain adequate vitamin D levels through sunlight exposure and diet alone, supplementation is definitely a viable option. And when you're considering your vitamin D supplementation, it's essential to choose the right form. Vitamin D3 is what you want to go after. It's generally recommended over vitamin D2. It's far more effective in raising and maintaining overall vitamin D levels in the body. And the timing and dosage is also very important. So for those who take vitamin D, it's best absorbed when taken with a meal as it contains healthy fats. This maximizes its, its absorption since it's fat soluble. And many experts recommend taking it in the morning or at lunchtime so it can work synergistically with your body's natural rhythms. When we look at the recommendation, the RDA, Recommendation Daily Allowance, Recommended Daily Allowance for Vitamin D, they say anywhere between 600 to 800 IUs a day. Way too low. I think it should be at least 2,000, up to 5,000 IUs a day. You can always get your blood levels checked to determine what's best for you. Because you may be taking more, it doesn't mean you're going to be assimilating more. Each metabolism is different in each individual. But let me tell you this. There's been hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of people, who've gone through hair shedding, hair thinning, that's been to dermatologists, doctors, who've put different types of lotions and creams, who spent lots of money, and through a simple recommendation of looking at their vitamin D levels and adding it back into their diet, 
they have seen miracles. And I hope you can as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family. And most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.